and welcome back to my channel. So I filmed a video on Friday reacting to um, old videos of me dancing um, and the footage got deleted. So I'm doing it again. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. This was back um, when I first started pretty much. Um, I had been in my first dance school for a few months and then I left after this. Well, I left at this point. Um, that was an awful layout. That was a really bad leap. Oh my goodness. I'm not even hitting the split when I do leaps. Oh, that one wasn't that bad. My feet are like just floppy. Oh. I think it's fair to say that technique was non existent at this point. Um, yeah, and my tilts, if you looked at my tilts from the front, they looked okay. You look from the side, my leg, instead of being like this, would be like that. Really bad. I had only been dancing for a few months though, so I've got to be kind to my younger self. I don't think them 40 turns were completely awful. Oh, would be nice if I could have pointed my feet though. This move was meant to be like petty jetties, but we obviously could not do them. We tried though, and it looks horrendous. <laughs> And another one. I thought I was so cool. Every time I kick my leg, I'm like, wow. <laughs> I, I thought it was really good. I I really thought I was amazing. I really did. Bless me. <laughs> okay, so this at this point I had started my proper dance school, and um, so I started getting more training in like. Um, jazz and stuff like that. Um, so I think we see improvement now from the last little bunch of clips. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is one thing I wanted to mention. When I used to do my forty turns, I think the technique was starting to get there with the bottom leg and like getting onto relevé. Um, but my three biggest issues: number one was my arms; they would just like fly upwards instead of outwards. Um, number two would be I wouldn't get my leg straight out into second and the third one was I would travel. I would turn on one spot and be off. <laughs> but they get better, they do. I struggled a lot with elevation as well. Maybe I should turn the sound on. There, that's at my dance school. That's when I first learned how to do a walkover. I didn't get standing up, but I was very proud of it. 2015, this was when I started college. So I had turned 16 this year. And for me, this is when everything just went uphill and I just started to see improvement because I went from um, only dancing on a weekend and just doing my own little thing in my bedroom. I started studying full time at college. So I was dancing literally every single day of the week. goodness my flexibility was so good oh my god that's like a right angle going in the other direction that was my first time on a turn board just randomly caught really in class i couldn't stand still when i was in college it's when i learned how to do a walkover walking it like you know <laughs> This was a dance that we did um, to Hello by Adele and it was choreographed by our teacher. Um, it was one of our favourite dances um, and it's when I started learning contemporary. What are you laughing at? Oh. 
It's when I started contemporary and basically found my love for that style of dance. Oh, I really couldn't kick or do anything with my left leg. My flexibility in my left leg was pretty much non-existent. Oh, a bit of sass. I think that was really good. Oh, this is the year. This is the year I started really working on my tilts and my aim was to get that leg at 180 degrees. I don't want to say I did, but I think that's the closest I've ever been to getting my legs 180 degrees. Middle split. Yeah, I'm still to this day proud of that. Oh, and this was my first ever solo and it was to Reflection from Mulan. Um, yeah, I didn't choreograph at all. But I choreographed most of it and it was the first ever time I performed a solo on stage. Um, so it was very scary but I'm quite proud of it. And it's not, it's not incredible but I'm happy with how it looks for how long I had been dancing for. There, you can see how I didn't get my leg out into second. Oh, I just did a double pirouette on my heel. But I landed in a split nicely, so that's all right. <laughs> 2016, so this was first year of college going and second year of college. Oh, I remember how bad this is. Look, I couldn't even keep my balance. I couldn't even hold my tilt. Oh, and this is Hello um, on stage. That's me in the middle. I'm about to do a backwards roll, you'll see us. I struggled to watch this back actually because I feel like my run was really lame coming on, but it's not it's not as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> oh, this is one problem I saw a lot with my dancing, especially in like second year of college. Um I started dancing a lot more so not just doing tricks with my legs and stuff. And I've realized that every movement I did was really small so instead of like reaching an arm I would literally just reach an arm like I wouldn't dance it um so that was one thing that definitely needed to improve in 2016 which I can gladly say I think has improved <laughs> I mean that's my opinion you can disagree with me but I think it's improved wasn't very good. <laughs> I would do anything to go and talk to my younger self. That was a good box. Oh and I also started doing more acro, so like chest rolls, walkovers, things like that. That would have been good if my leg was properly in posse, but it's not so. Retire, whatever you want to say. Oh, this is my solo to seven years um, and it was the last solo I did in my first year of college. I was very, very proud of myself. I think still to this day, that's one of my favourite solos that I've ever done. This is me attempting to do an aerial obviously not doing a very good job at it but I did go to acro class and in my first lesson I went in and said look I want to learn how to do an aerial and she was like okay she got the springboard out and you will guess it I got my aerial that day and yeah I was very very happy I want to also learn other tricks like front handsprings in my last year of college, I wanted to make the most of the studio space because I knew that I wasn't going to have it. Um, so on a lunchtime, especially when I knew I was going to be on my own, I would stay in um, and just dance and practice my turns, obviously. Um, yeah. I would say 2018, 2019 were my prime years. Like Those were the years where 
improvement was massive and my confidence just went through the roof and I, I felt really good in myself and yeah I just I feel like those were the years that really showed me improvement in just the way I danced. This is a performance we did in a museum and it was about women's rights and um, this is a little bit of a solo that I did in that. This show was so good, I loved it so much. I'm gonna end this video here, I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to do something like this for a while but I didn't know if anyone would be interested so I guess we'll find out. Um, I think it's really nice to look back and see how much I have improved because especially with this lockdown I think there's been a lot of negative feelings in the performing arts industry and people feel like they're not going to go anywhere with performance because it's it's kind of on hold right now um, so it's nice to see how much passion I had when I was younger and I feel like it's ignited a fire in us to keep going and keep pushing um, I hope if you're out there and you feel the same that you can do the same too I'm going to end this video here. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want to. I've got other dance footage and dance videos on my YouTube channel if you want to check them out as well. Um, yeah, and I'll see you on Saturday with another video. Hopefully it doesn't get corrupted and yeah, so I'll see you then. Goodbye!